Hello YouTube, I'm at Video Productions, and welcome back to another video. You might be wondering, where is your microphone, Matt? Well, I'll tell you where my microphone is. Well, it's, it's right here, but I can't use it because the drivers are all screwed up with the registry on my computer. So we're using my iPhone today uh, to record audio for this video. So I'm just going to hold my, my iPhone while I record this. And I have to reset my whole Windows computer to fix this problem because I don't know how to get into the registry and edit whatever values are screwed up. Like who knows how bad that could be. Anyways, today's video is actually going to be very interesting. Today we're looking at replicate.com. Basically, this is an AI website with a ton of various really cool AIs. There's a lot of really interesting text to image generators here and a lot of other really cool stuff that we'll cover today as well. Now, before that though, I'd like to mention, I do have a Discord server linked down in the description below that I think you guys should join. We just hit 1000 members and you can submit prompts to get generated in different text to image generators, submit your interesting generations of your own or just chat with the community in general. We actually have a pretty active community. So yeah, join that with the linked down down below. Anyways, folks, let's get into replicate.com. The first one you guys will probably notice is Dolly Mini. So right here, what we're looking at is kind of a port, so to speak, of Dolly Mini. It actually works very well, and it's a lot faster than Dolly Mini, and you can generate a lot more images than Dolly Mini. So as you can see, when you generate stuff here, it sort of generates kind of like a slide moving down on the screen, which is pretty interesting. We've got some different settings. We have top K and temperature, which are essentially a randomness setting. Increasing any of these two values will actually increase the randomness of the images that you see, but at the expense of their sort of clarity, so to speak, right? And we can even change the grid size all the way up to a nine by nine grid, which is quite a lot of images. So we'll just go ahead and run this prompt right here. Studio photo of a lemon wearing sunglasses. And we'll just click submit. And you guys will see it's it's not really like anything extremely fast, you know, not like Dolly 2, but it's a lot faster than regular Dolly Mini slash Crayon. And here they begin to generate for us. And as you can see, they all sort of generate at once. And it's just crazy how many images you get with this 9 by 9 Let me actually just move my face out of the way here for you guys. And yeah, you can see how many studio photos of lemons wearing sunglasses that I am generating here. It's just absolutely crazy. And there they all go. They all generate. A lot of these are actually pretty decent, I have to say. I'm not sure if this is as uh, coherent as regular crayon, but we actually do get settings so you can sort of mess around with it. And there are actually some pretty decent generations in here. And again, with this, we can sort of watch them get generated as the image slides down, which is another interesting feature. And of course, you can share or download your image right away, which is really nice. So yeah, I think this is actually one of the better alternatives to Dolly 2 or whatever that I have seen so far. I've actually got a video coming up on a really good one that actually competes very well with Midjourney, uh, so keep an eye out for that. But that is just one AI that can be found on replicate.com. There's also a Leon logo generator. So this one is specifically really good at logos. So if I just put lemon logo in and then click submit, we can get lemon related logos. But if you put in famous logos such as Star Wars or something like that, or you want to make your own sort of Star Wars-esque logo, it will probably be very good at that. I found that pretty much any text to image AI is specifically very good at logos just because of how many logos are in their databases but this one specifically is really good at text so that's very important to point out most text to image generators are not very good at text so there you go as we can see we got some very good lemon logos almost all of these are actually spelled correctly this one sort of looks like an egg now, let me move out of the way real quick as you can see this one's spelled completely correctly good looking text this one's almost perfect as well just a little screwed up on the m this one's perfect as well very uh, just sort of a circular logo with lemon double underlined this one's also very good full lemon spelled correctly with a picture of a lemon as well so yeah this one is just very good at logos it's as simple as that and if we scroll down we can see some really cool examples like this is the leon or lion um logo sort of that they they tried to generate here this was colorful glowing poly logo of a lion coca-cola as well down here we can see this prompt and sort of as it gets generated. So yeah, it almost got Coca-Cola perfect, and that's our sort of difficult one. The Game of Thrones one is also very impressive. As you guys can see, actually was able to generate the Game of Thrones logo. Star Wars, as well as I mentioned earlier, not too bad. 
Radiohead down here. Can't believe it got Led Zeppelin right as well. That's not so easy to, to spell. And it actually did some cool Pink Floyd ones too. So yeah, in general, pretty cool stuff here. Uh, it is definitely good at logos. So if you need to generate some logos or get some concepts for logos for something you're working on, this one is definitely a good bet. I know Mint Journeys as well, but this one is definitely better with text than pretty much any other model I've seen. So here we've also got another text to image generator, if you can believe it, and this one is called Pixray Text to Image. I'm not going to go through all of these though, but this one's actually very decent as well, surprisingly good. So this was a violent explosion of love, and you can see this sort of get generated here. That's not really a bad generation at all, in my opinion. Uh, this is Manhattan Skyline at Sunset, hashtag art station, very good as well. Probably not as good as Midjourney, but this is pretty darn coherent. And a lot of these text to image models are now getting surprisingly good, shockingly good, I would say. Like this was surreal album cover depicting a goose of eternal dread. So yeah, this is also another text to image generator that you guys can mess with if you so desire. So yeah, it also seems to be shockingly good at pixel art because it has its own pixel art mode so yeah some the difference in the settings and stuff is something really to mention with a lot of these like we can have different uh drawers here like a pixel art one fast pixel art line sketch stuff like that so you you can get different effects with those now, this one I'm actually very excited about because it can be applied to the different AIs that are already on this website. And this is going to be Swin IR. Basically, this is a image restoration. So basically, you take this cruddy little image and you restore it up to a greater sized image. So it's kind of like an upscaler, but also a restorer at the same time. So what I'm actually going to do here is pick out one of the images that we generated earlier with the Dolly mini clone, and we're going to try to upscale or enhance it using this AI. So here you can see this is how we would sort of combine these AIs together. You can take those low resolution Dolly mini or crayon images and upscale them to be something larger. So we will submit this and we will see how it goes. This one's also pretty quick as well. And there we go. Here is our upscaled image. Honestly, really not too bad at all for just being something free and quick that you can try online. Like that's honestly not that bad. That's almost the quality of Dolly 2's upscaling I would honestly think. Pretty cool stuff. Like, that's not a bad generation, right, guys? I'll be saving this lemon for later. So we've also got this thing called the Nightmare AI 2, which wasn't really working for me last time I tested it out. But essentially what you can do is you can take a 2D image like this. Hang on, let me just move my head out of the way. You can take a 2D image such as this one, and you can convert it into a 3D image like you see on the screen right now, and it will sort of put everything and find out where everything is. It's a pretty cool little thing. You could easily use this to make, like, cool textures, like, to actually use for something, but, yeah, it's really cool for just making random stuff like this. You can try different scenes and stuff, and this one, I remember, took a very long time, and I wasn't able to get it to work properly, but you guys might have better luck using this. So there's also quite a few other models that can be found on this website. As you guys can see, there is really a ton of them, to be to be honest. Like, this one lets you completely change facial features. I'm going to give another one of these super resolution ones a shot. I always find these upscalers really fascinating in the ability that they have. And there you go. This was definitely not as good of an upscale as the other one we were trying earlier, but, you know, it's still an upscaler. A lot of people love to mess with the style transfer stuff as well. And yeah, Disco Diffusion is on here. They have Cartoonify. But yeah, guys, I don't want to spoil everything for you. I just don't know how I never made a video about this website in general. It's just a really fun and interesting AI website to try out if you're interested in this stuff. And I know plenty of you guys are, and I know a lot of you guys already know about this site, but I just really wanted to make a dedicated video for it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Check back next week for more videos. And yeah, check out my Discord and a few of my other videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.